come to pass, people. Because we are the last days people. So seeing that we are the last days people, we are the come to pass people. We are the people that scripture has been fulfilled upon, not in a negative way, but in a positive way. And we say to God, be the glory. We are the years and the joint years and fellow citizens with a household of faith. We are the ones that carry the testimony of Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, that somebody will give him a praise. For he's worthy in his house to receive glory. Honor, praises, and thanksgiving, and exhortation, and adoration. Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the throne saying, 
name, praise our God. All his servants and all he that fear him, both small and great. And I heard that his word, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and of the voice of a mighty thundering saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent and reigning. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife has made herself ready. And to her it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints and he said unto me, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And it said unto me, These are the true sins of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, thou doest it not. I am thy brother's servant, and of thy brethren, and of the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called a faithful and true. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and all his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth going a sharp sword, and that which he should smite the nations, and it shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he that tread the wine press of the furnace of the rod of the Almighty God, and he has on his vest, on all his thigh, a name written, King of Kings and Lord. The word of the Lord. They are so blessed and they are so anointed and they are so powerful. They are filled with healing, they are filled with virtue, they are filled with deliverance, they are filled with power because they are spoken out of his own voice, they are spoken out of his own will, they are spoken out of his own spirit. Only that the only music 
moving that will be observed. And you're the singing that will be observed. Remember the singing to the image. And the worship to the image. I need somebody to understand that the image symbolizes and reference to the flesh. But there is a voice that is greater than the voice of Nebuchadnezzar. There is a voice that is greater than the Babylonian voice. Thank <laughs> you. 
people in heaven with the voice of praise, with the voice of salvation, with the voice of deliverance, with the voice of hallelujah, by the turn Going on, the pandemic cannot stop it. 
we did come up the earth. Spirit of corruption has been blooded up. Spirit of corruption has been defeated. Spirit of corruption has been condemned. Spirit of corruption has been destroyed. Spirit of corruption has been put out the door. And spirit of fornication has come with me. And spirit of fornication has been put out the door. And spirit of fornication has been defeated. Oh, that somebody would understand that. Principalities and power to clear water upon your mouth and water 